Hi Blue Sheepdog fans, this is Aaron and I've got another training video for you today. I'd like to cover what's called Position Sewell. Position Sewell was developed by Alan Brosnan and Max Joseph of the T's group. Now T's used to be called the Tactical Explosives Entry School and when Alan retired and sold the company in 2005 it became all of security and now it is back to being called T's but under the name Tactical Energetic Entry Systems. They're based out of Memphis, Tennessee, and they provide a wide range of breaching and tactical training. Uh, the cadre of instructors has a vast amount of experience in military special forces or law enforcement tactical teams. Now, Sul is the Brazilian or Portuguese word for South. And what had happened is Alan and Max got invited to come down to Brazil to train some of their officers on firearm skills and tactical skills uh, for the challenges that they were facing. Uh, unfortunately, when they got down there, Alan and Max realized that these Brazilian officers were uh, a complete mess. I mean, their officer safety skills were horrendous. They were moving with their trigger finger on the trigger. Uh, they were lasering their partners. They had no muzzle control and they had to start from the basics and what they developed was called Position Sewell. Now before I get into Position Sewell, I want to talk about the low ready position. Now I want to make sure that everybody knows that I'm not saying that low ready position is not a viable technique. It absolutely is. I still use it. I believe in it. Um, and yet there are some limitations that I think Position Sewell uh, provides a better alternative to. Now, low ready position. So I've got my training firearm in my holster. Most firearms instructors teach some manner of when you're going to present your firearm to the target that you withdraw your firearm and you punch out. So I withdraw, punch out into a shooting position, my arms are locked, my hands are secure on the firearm, and I'm looking down my sights to get a good target uh, and sight picture. Now, low ready is okay the immediate threat is no longer there I need to scan my surroundings so I'm going to bring the firearm out of the sight picture to give myself a greater uh, scope of vision to determine what is going on around me now depending on where you are in the country depends on what low ready means I've seen everything from low ready being just off site off of uh, looking through your sights I'm looking through my sights here and coming down, that being a low ready. All right? And I've seen it all the way down to where you're pointing at the ground and everywhere in between. So that low ready really is area and department agency um, defined. Now, um, some of the disadvantages of low ready are obviously the lower you get your firearm, the more tracking you have to do to get back on target. So if your agency says that this is low ready or this is low ready, and an immediate threat presents itself, I've got to swing my arms back up. And I know you may think, well, that's no big deal. I just swing it back up. But anybody who's ever hunted uh, birds or moving uh, animals or, or tried to shoot moving targets realizes that the movement of the body and trying to track the target creates basically a, an over-tracking. So uh, you, you're trying to come up. You've got, you got to think about this. An immediate threat. Some guy just stepped around the corner pointing a gun at me. I want to put rounds down range on him. Uh, and that immediate startle response, you know, you're going to come up and you're probably going to overshoot, which could mean that you miss your target or you put uh, rounds on non-vital areas and they're able to put target, uh, rounds on you. Uh, so that's a disadvantage of the low ready position. Again, it is a viable position. Uh, it has some limitations. Another limitation of low ready is movement. You know, obviously if I'm out here and now I need to move, whether I'm just moving down a hallway you know, nice and secure, you know, I'm still getting a little play with that gun. My muzzle is pointed in a downrange manner. It's not directly downrange, but it is still downrange, and there is the potential that I'm going to uh, have a, a, a muzzle violation. You know, I'm going to laser my buddy, uh, laser an innocent civilian, and it's less control to move. If I'm running, you know, I get out of the car, the threat's not here, but I need to have my firearm out. The threat is downrange, I need to move to that threat quickly, and I'm out here trying to run, you're going to get a lot more. And actually, you're going to get a lot more up in this low ready as you start to go, okay? And that's going to create a, a serious problem for us. So Position Sewell helps to give an alternative 
to those types of situations that I believe is a little bit more safer. All right, so from the holster, I present my firearm, punch out into a shooting position, and now I realize that I need to scan, my immediate threat's not there, I need to bring my weapon towards my body. I'm gonna use my thumbs as a pivot point as I bring my arms back towards my body, I contact my thumbs, I rotate the firearm down until I come into contact with my body with my support hand. So now I have three positive contact points. I have my thumbs in contact with each other, I have the palm of my support hand against my body, and I have my firearm in contact with the back side of my support hand. I know where my firearm is, I know where it's pointing uh, because of those three contact points. I can look around, I can move, and I'm going to maintain that position. And it's going to be pointed down between my legs. Now one thing you do have to be careful with, you have to watch officers if you decide to use this technique, is there is a slight bend to the shooting hand, wrist. And the reason for that is to maintain the muzzle pointed directly down. If you get lax on that and you try to keep that firearm, uh, the, sh the shooting hand wrist straight, you end up with something like this, which is not a position sewell um, because now my muzzle is pointing over here, so anybody that comes up over here on this side is getting lasered. I want it here. Now, position sewell should have relaxed shoulders, so you're not all tensed up. It's not going to wear you out to be in position stool. You should be able to be in position stool all day long. Your arms, you want to bring them in a little bit at the elbows, not extensively. Again, not scrunching like this. That's not comfortable. It's not natural. But just enough that your arms don't become an obstacle to you. You know, moving through a hallway or tight space, they're not out here to get banged on. If for some reason you have an officer that just can't quite get into this south position, this sewell position, uh, in this manner, they may have to raise that arm just a little bit. You know, if they keep coming into this, they may have to raise that arm just a little bit to make sure they keep their muzzle pointed down. So again, the benefits of this is I'm following cardinal safety rules, all right? Keeping my muzzle painted, pointed in a safe direction until I'm ready to use it. My trigger finger is outside of the trigger well, off of the trigger. It's in positive contact with my firearm, whether it's on the, the slide or the frame. So I know where that trigger finger is. I know that it's not going to accidentally get down on the trigger and cause me to fire my weapon. Okay? I've got the three positive contact points with my thumbs, the palm of my support hand, and the firearm on the back side of my support hand. I can sit here all day long and be in a ready position. And what I mean by that is though my muzzle is pointed down, the benefit of position Sewell is that it follows those firearms instructors techniques of punching out to the target. So from this position I'm not tracking the firearm to target, I'm simply following the punch out technique. So from here I reverse what I just did, I rotate on the thumbs, my hands start to come back together, I'm punching out my arms, and I'm coming back into my shooting position, okay? So in a, just a normal speed, I've come out, I'm in a shooting position, I'm scanning, I don't see anything, I could be at a low ready scanning, but now I want a safer method for my firearm, I bring it into position Sewell, hey, you good, you good, all right, we're good, hey, another threat just presented itself, punch out, and I'm right on my sights again. It's that quick, there's no tracking, and it goes right into what we've already been trained, for probably hundreds or thousands of times on the range. Bring it back in, punch out. Now there is a modified Sewell. Some people don't like the thumbs touching for whatever reason it's not as comfortable to them. They want to maintain a greater grip on their uh, firearm and so they'll continue to have the thumb of the shooting hand wrapped around the firearm. I think that's an acceptable alternative uh, yes, you'd lose one contact point, but you still have your support hand against your body. You still have your firearm uh, resting on the back side of your support hand. And as long as they're continuing to, to slightly bend the shooting wrist, then it should keep that firearm pointed down. So again, this is position Sewell. I think it is a very viable technique for having your firearm out and in a safe position 
while providing you a great opportunity to come on to target without tracking errors and following what you've already been trained with the punch out technique. So again, from here, from position Sewell, you can punch out, you're in your shooting stance, you come back to position Sewell, if I need to look, I can look, if I need to step into something, I can step to turn, and my firearm is, is maintaining that safe position of position Sewell. If I'm moving, it is staying in that position. I think it's a great uh, alternative to a low ready position, which is viable and is an absolutely great technique in some circumstances. It just gives me another method of doing business and doing it safely. So again, this is Aaron, and this has been Position Sewell. I hope you enjoy it and try it out.